morning and here's our top story. On Tuesday, President Obama announced that his administration will not back a proposed moratorium on home foreclosures, which is ironic because President Obama will be out of his house in approximately two years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a Hyundai dealer in New Jersey is giving a car to Florida pastor Terry Jones after he decided to call off his planned burning of the Quran on September 11th. Joan plans to keep threatening to burn Qurans until someone gives him a decent car. <laughs> the White House is accusing the U.S. Chamber of Commerce of taking foreign donations to influence midterm elections. Respond to the Chamber of Commerce representative. Hey, if they're buying elections, at least they're buying Americans. <laughs> <laughs> The Orange County band Imperial Stars was arrested Tuesday after blocking traffic on the Hollywood freeway to promote their song, Traffic Jam 101. <laughs> yeah. Which was better than the promotion they had planned for their other song, Shoe Bomb at LAX. <laughs> Apple has filed a trademark for the phrase, there's an app for that, responded Bill Gates. Big deal. We at Microsoft have also filed a trademark for a phrase that PC users say every time they turn on their computer. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Why would you fucking work, you stupid piece of shit computer? I wish I bought a Mac! I don't know. China has purchased one third of a large oil field in Texas, and soon China will own the rest of America. <laughs> Fox News has launched a website targeting English-speaking Latinos for deportation. <laughs> and now we're Hard News Meets Hollywood here with the entertainment news as our own Cosmo Cuenga. Hi. <laughs> Carrie Fisher told the Associated Press that she took cocaine while filming The Empire Strikes Back and that she wished she took cocaine while watching The Phantom Menace. <laughs> On Wednesday, Darren McCauley was sentenced to prison for embezzling millions of dollars from his half-brother, Dane Cook. Yet Dane Cook still remains at large for embezzling millions of jokes from Louis C.K. <laughs> teamed up with designer Fred Perry to put out a new clothing line, which she will promptly snort. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, on Monday, an armless piano player won China's Got Talent. However, he lost China's Got Arms. <laughs> A new study shows that love can act as a powerful painkiller, which is double good news for people who love painkillers. <laughs> a recent study shows that 74% of psychology majors are unsatisfied with their career paths, commented a prominent psychologist. Uh, perhaps you're uh, dissatisfied with your career path because your career path reminds you of your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe it reminds you of a penis. <laughs> According to studies on mice, sleeping with the light on may lead to weight gain. The weight gain doubles if that light is in the refrigerator. <laughs> A new study finds that testosterone may also able to be able to help women with heart failure, added one of the scientists on the study. Women should be aware of the side effects of testosterone treatment. These may include fear of commitment, inability to put the toilet seat down, and the increased ability of thinking logically. That's right, ladies. <laughs> In Brit I think very loud. It's very true. <laughs> In Britain, a hermaphrodite dog named Georgia underwent successful gender reassignment surgery this week. The dog's owner then changed its name to Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> and now 
done with an in-depth look at the week's big stories in this segment that's twice as important as AC360, Philip Wilburn, and TSW720. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Brian. New York Republican gubernatorial candidate Carl Palladino came under fire this week to, after saying children should not be brainwashed into thinking that homosexual lifestyle is an equally valid option. Here to defend his comments is Carl Palladino. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Philip. Listen, I got nothing against the gay lifestyle. I just don't understand why the gays gotta be all up in your face about it. Sorry, how do you mean all up in your face? Well, for instance, I happened upon this gay pride parade one time when they were waving around all those delightful rainbow flags and they were dancing around in their tight speedos and there was glitter everybody everywhere and, and the dancing and the Lady Gaga music and it was just so disgusting. <laughs> okay, but pride parades is only part of the gay culture. Maybe, maybe you might be overreacting. Overreacting? Okay, Mr. Liberal Media, then explain why a gay guy shows up every time my wife leaves the house. <laughs> there are gay guys showing up at your house? Oh, tons of them, but one in particular, he shows up with organic fruit and yogurt chip cookies, and we sit and we talk about TLC's hit show, What Not to Wear. That's how they get you, Philip, with delightful conversation and organic cookies. <laughs> Really? Organic cookies? <laughs> really, Philip? I'll tell you, one time I'm driving with my family, married a long time, got some beautiful kids, and I say, hey, hey, let's go antiquing. But I say, that's to me, internally, because I'm not really my family, right? So I leave the kids in the car, and I get the half out, and I go to this delightful antique shop, 1950s decor, beautiful couple, Ed and Larry, delightful people. Anyways, I buy myself a little antique tea set, we have a tea party, before you know it, we're looking at an Abercrombie and Fitch catalog, and talking, and it was just... <laughs> Mr. Paladino, I, I don't want to get into your business, but have you considered that you yourself might be gay? What? What? Me? Philip, don't make those kind of accusations. You're making me very angry. So angry I might kidnap you and take you on a, a road trip to wine country where we just sit and sip wine and get to know each other a little better. Talk about feelings dogs that we lost as youths. <laughs> Carl Paldino, everyone! Are you sure you don't want to come? Uh -huh. I'm good. And finally... Absolutely! <laughs> I made a mixtape. Uh, I'll <laughs> bring snacks. I, I think I'm okay. I'm very lonely. <laughs> Carl Paldino, everyone! <laughs> And finally, Barbara Billingsley, the actress famous for playing the mother, the classic family comedy Leave it to Beaver, died Saturday at age 94. Doctors believe she passed away because Ward was a little too hard on the beaver. <laughs> Spending some money on Jackass 3D? Don't do it, because you just did. Good night! <laughs>